If you're choosing to use overhead irrigation, there's some calculations you should be aware of. And this video uh, here at Tobacco University will help you uh, understand those calculations better so you can be smart with your usage of your overhead irrigation equipment. All right, let's get into overhead sprinkler irrigation calculations for outdoor cannabis production. And here we see a nice image here of some overhead irrigation, nice mist there in the sun, creating that nice rainbow effect. So before you get the calculator, keep in mind that you do need to know a couple things. Now the spacing of your lateral lines, the sprinkler nozzle size, and the pressure of the system being operated. All these basically factor into these calculations. And this pressure when it's being operated is the discharge rate of sprinkler heads will increase with the higher pressure and larger nozzle size, as we see some examples here. Increasing a in nozzle size increases the gallons per minute or the flow rate, and as well as the pressure. If using the same nozzle size but increasing the pressure, we can see that there is an increase. It may not be quite as great as the diameter of the nozzle, but there is definitely a fluctuation there, and that will play into these calculations. So the application rate uh, calculation here, how do we go about this? Well, when we're looking at the sprinkler application rate, inches per hour equals the discharge rate in gallons per minute times 96.3, divided by the lateral spacing in feet times the head spacing in feet. So what does this kind of all correlate and mean? Well, we have a nice little kind of uh, example kind of chart here, but the equipment used in this example uh, is a Rainbird 20JH with a 764-inch nozzle. The operating pressure, 45 PSI, the lateral spacing, uh, 40 feet, and then the head spacing would be 30 feet. The discharge rate from the sprinkler head from the data table here would be 2.63 gallons per minute. How did I get that? Well, knowing the diameter of the nozzle and knowing the pressure gets me the gallons per minute at 2.63. We take that number and we multiply it by 96.3, divide it by 30 feet times 40 feet, and this would be giving us a coverage of 0.21 inches per hour. So this allows us to calculate the application rate and know what's being delivered to our plants. Sprinkler application rate, inches per hour, in this case would be 0.21 inches per hour. And we can use that to determine the duration that we want to keep that sprinkler on. Once we know how much we want to give those uh, plants based on the soil type, maybe the age of the plants, and also the environmental conditions as well. Now, summary reference table, so how can we kind of put this together? Well, to estimate the application rate for an irrigation system, again, using the Rainbird 20JH uh, sprinkler heads, we can see this provided here. Application rates for sprinkler systems using these heads at varying pressures, nozzle sizes, and lateral and head spacing. And really, this is just applying those uh, calculations here and putting it into a nice table. Now, if you're not using these specific sprinkler heads, again, use these as a general guide uh, and then see where how yours particularly fall. I'm only mentioning this one here because it's able to find this nice, neat, organized data table to provide you with. Now, the rate determines the time. So the application rate can be used to determine how long or the duration to irrigate a crop uh, from estimates of crop water usage. The suggested starting point is to plan for one inch of water during a typical week. So this is kind of the starting rate for cannabis, sorry, that one inch per water per week, and you can determine to increase it or decrease it from that point. A grower with an application rate of 0.22 inches per hour will need to irrigate uh, four and a half hours to get to that one inch per week during the week. So that means your plants should be irrigated for a duration of total, given this rate, about four and a half hours per week. That doesn't mean every Monday they get four and a half hours, you might want to space that over the week, but in that seven days, they should be have four and a half hours of irrigation time. For cannabis, some growers suggest starting at 0.36 inches of water per day, but this can depend on many factors. It can be depend on the soil type, the season, the stage of plant development, so that needs to be taken into consideration from a grower standpoint. You want to select a starting place and make adjustments from there. That's why I recommend that one inch. You can determine how the plants are doing, look at the soil, do I need to irrigate a little bit more, a little bit less, but at least that's a good stable starting point. Knowing your soil, the season, the plant development all will play into exactly what fine-tuning adjustments you make from there, but at least hopefully this will provide you with a starting point to allow you to efficiently um, water the plants without wasting water, uh, and precious, which is a precious resource, and out over irrigating the plants and also not keeping them too dry.